Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and today I'll be walking through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how to turn your website into a lead generation machine and really generate some more revenue for your business month over month. Now, in order to do that, we first have to understand how are people finding granite businesses in your area? And if you're like me and many others, chances are you go on Google, type in whatever service or industry you want in the upper search bar along with your city name, and then ultimately you'll pick from the results either down below or up here in the Google Map Pack. Now, whatever the method is, it seems to be a pretty popular one. As you'll notice, there are about 720 searches every single month for granite countertops in Phoenix. And that number is greatly magnified when you add in other search terms like granite countertop installation, granite countertop repair, granite countertops near me, all these other searches. But regardless of the search term, the results stay the same. Our goal here is to get you in front of those search terms. That way, 720 people every single month see our business first before looking at our competitors. However, there's gonna be a few things that we need to know first. So first off, we'll need to build out our content as content is king on Google. So let's take a look at one of your competitors and see what they're doing to rank on the first page as far as content goes. We are on Superior Stone and Cabinet and they rank on the first page organically for granite countertops in Phoenix. And you'll notice that as we go through their site, they have a ton of content built out on their website. And this content is not just any content, you know, it's filled out with keywords and phrases that are very industry specific to the terms that they want to rank for. Now to give you an idea of what keywords are, keywords are the most used words or phrases on a web page. And based on these keywords, we're going to tell Google vital information about our business, such as what we do, maybe where we operate from, and ultimately who we are. That way they can put us in searches related to our business, such as higher volume search terms like granite countertops in Phoenix. So ultimately, like I said, we're going to want a very content full website and very industry specific keywords. So let's see if your website does that currently. So here we are on your website and I noticed that you have some content written out here. Um, but ultimately, we always want to go bigger and better than our competitors, whether that's content, whether that's keywords, um, you know, whatever it is, we always want to go bigger and better. So we're going to want to add more content to this page. I normally recommend about 750 to 1,000 words on any given page, um, but feel free to always go past that if you'd like. That's just the bare minimum of what I recommend. So ultimately, like I said, a lot of content, but we also want to have our website filled with keywords and phrases that are relevant to those high volume search terms that we talked about to make sure that we appear for each one. Now, if I told you that all you needed, though, was content and keywords, I ultimately wouldn't be doing you any favors because we also need the second part of this, which is backlinks and citations. Now, the way I like to look at it is that, you know, all the internal stuff like content and keywords are going to lay the foundation for us and determine where we rank. Whereas the external stuff like backlinking is going to help give our site that big push to start climbing over our competitors. So let's take a look at, their, at your competitor's external backlink structure and see what they've been working with so far. The tool I use called Ahrefs. And if you'll take a look here, you'll notice that your competitor has about 600 different backlinks built out to their website. And it's generating them some good power. And ultimately, it's bringing in about 2,000 extra users every single month. And this is a direct result of both the internal things that they're doing, like content and keywords, as well as their backlink structures. So, like I said, it really makes you wonder, you know, what could an extra 2,000 users every single month do for your business? So, let's take a look at your external backlink structure and see what you've been working with as well. So here we are on your website and you do have about 2,300 backlinks. So you're not doing a bad job. You definitely have more volume than them, but we also want to make sure that our backlinks are quality. So this is a big part of it is that we, we don't just want any backlinks. We want backlinks that are going to give us power. And the only way to do that is to get them from quality sites. So you'll notice that your website's generating a lot less power. And that's because the backlinks that you have, while some of them are good, some of them are really weighing you down as they're very harmful or spammy links. So we want to fix that because ultimately we're only generating about 116 users and and that could be a result of both our internal side and our external side not really working together. So we want to fix that and we always want to go bigger and better than our competitors, but in the right way. So more content, more keywords, and more quality backlinks. So there was one more thing that I mentioned in this video, and that was citations. Now, if we come back to the Google Map Pack here, we want to rank in the Map Pack because it essentially gives our business a second place that we can win on Google. And if we can win down below and in the Map Pack, we guarantee that 720 people every single month see our business first before looking at another competitor. But to rank in this map pack, you have to look for a few different things or you have to accomplish a few different things that they're looking for. And one of those is citations. Now citations are all the different places your business's name, address, and phone number are listed online. Some popular citations are things like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, Instagram. All those are different citations you can get for your business and they all help with the Google map pack. 
Now I reviewed all of your competitors and you'll notice at the top we have 42 citations. Then number two, we have 33. And lastly, at number four, we have 21. So I normally recommend doubling the biggest number in here. So if they have roughly 40 citations, or I should say 43 citations, we're going to need 86 citations to really go in and outrank them. So ultimately, like I said, always want to go bigger and better. So we're going to want to double the number of citations build out our content, build out our keywords. And if we do all of that, we should start to see our website move in a very positive direction and really start generating the revenue that we need month over month and acting like the salesperson we need it to be. But I do have to ask you, you know, what would an extra 2000 users do for your, for your website or your business every single month? That's the big question here. And I imagine it would do a lot. So I hope this video was very educational and thank you for watching.